Hello everyone, I am Vinod and you are watching Indian Military Updates. Today we will discuss about India's new light tank and believe me, overall it's a very very complex matter. So make it simple instead of just one episode we will discuss the heavily complex matter in multiple parts. Part by part we will know about the concept of light tank, the necessity of it, the situation it is sought for, China's armored formation and the requirements by the army. So without any delay, let's dive into the amazing pool of part 1. If you are new, please subscribe to the channel, I regularly update videos and discuss on several military subjects. A bullet has a name on it, a grenade is addressed to whomever it may concern, but a tank is a general announcement. Since the beginning of Sino-Indian standoff, People's Liberation Army was deploying their armored forces on the high altitude of Himalayas. Supported by artilleries and highly mobile armored platforms, Chinese soldiers were concentrating their positions aiming to absorb Swathe of Indian land. All of those deployments came under disguise of months-long military exercise in the Akubai Tibetan Plateau. China is possibly the only nation on earth who has problem with all of its neighbors. Not just India, but it is also showcasing aggression against Taiwan, South Korea, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, United States and even against Russia. During the Cold War era, the indigenous armor technology development by China was influenced by close involvement of Soviet Union. After the Sino-Soviet split, China started developing new platforms based on the Soviet equipment and services with the People's Liberation Army. For a long time, China faced difficulties developing quality products and often faced setback. But in the last three decades, China has seen rapid progress in new technology. Though still it cannot match the Western products, but the latest equipment still hold their own might in certain cases against adversaries. Let's look into the armored platforms China can use against Indian Army during an aggression. Amongst them, we will discuss the main battle tanks with much details. So let's begin. So at the very beginning, we will look for the Type 99 tank. According to Chinese media, this tank as a part of 76 group were deployed in the occupied Tibetan plateau as a part of exercise. Type 99 is the most advanced main battle tank presently in services with the People's Liberation Army. Equipped with a 125mm smoothbore gun, it can fire several different kinds of ammunition including cannon-launched guided missiles. Its composite armor is protected by a layer of explosive reactive armor plates, while further protection is augmented by GL-5 active protection system which protects it from incoming enemy anti-tank missiles. Among with the new fire control systems, navigation strata link and a battlefield management system, the Type 99A processes great threat for Indian Army. Next, we will look for Type 96A. It is the backbone of People's Liberation Army and as a part of China 72 group, it is also deployed in occupied Tibet. It is also equipped with a 125mm smoothbore gun. Powered by a 780 HP engine, it can achieve the necessary mobility in rough terrain. Like Type 99, it is also protected by a layer of explosive reactive armor, but yet no active protection system has been observed on board the platform. It still lacks the hunter-killer capability. This platform has been exported and in South Sudan, this has seen combat against T-72 as well. Type 96 has an advanced version named Type 96B, but at least for now, it is deployed in another place. And now, the main cause to drive India's need for a light tank, the Type 15. The Type 99 can be the best main battle tank developed by China. The Type 96 may be the backbone of their armored forces, but it is the Type 15 light tank which can be a trump card for them. It is developed specifically for operations in the environment and terrain where other Chinese tanks cannot be deployed. It weighs just 33 tons, equipped with a 105mm rifle gun and 1000 HP engine. It can achieve the necessary mobility in high altitude as well as firepower in narrow valleys where it is impossible to deploy main battle tanks. Type 59 is one of the two modern light tanks developed by China. It doesn't have much heavy armor but equipped with ERA and APS. One thing should not be forgotten that in situations where the adversary can deploy a main battle tank and best can trust an infantry fighting vehicles only, without any doubt this beast gives much better protections to the crew. Meanwhile, during the standoff, another old platform was identified. It is Type 88A. This old platform is equipped with 105 rifled gun. 
it lacks definitely the modern armor but it has decent firepower. Along with these tanks, China also deployed Type 63A, ZBD-04A, ZBD-05, ZTD-05, ZBD-03, ZBL-08, ZTL-11, PTL-02 as well as lighter armored vehicles like EQ-2050, EQ-2091FXB and CSK-131 was also were spotted or reported to present in the area. Besides, People's Liberation Army has a choice to deploy three different types of self-propelled visor as well as ATGM carrying platforms. So, this is the whole picture what China deployed or can deploy in similar scenario in future aggressions. Next part, we will talk about Indian response and why light tank is so much important in such scenario. Hope you have enjoyed this video. We will meet you with this new exciting subject. Till then, take care, stay safe and Jai Hind.